All right, y'all, today is August 7th, and I just want to show y'all how many cantaloupes we've grown so far. This is, I think, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 12 cantaloupes. We've already eaten two, and I threw, I threw away two uh, because they was too ripe. So we've grown 16 cantaloupes total. We're doing pretty good on cantaloupes this year, and we still have a few left in the garden, so I'm pretty sure we'll get about 25, something like that. And uh, of course, I have uh, watermelons that we uh, haven't harvested yet, but uh, they're out there. As of now, I'm just, uh, if y'all can see that, my glass is kind of dirty. But let me go and open this window up. All right, there we go. A better view. So, this is uh, my little sprinkler sprinkling water on the guard get it nice and hydrated I've actually forgot to water it um, the last let me see I think last time it got some raw water was Monday or Tuesday it rained outside so and today is Saturday so <laughs> we went about four or five days without water so uh, anyway I'm gonna hit it nice and good with this uh, sprinkler system get it nice and hydrated soaked um, I think that uh, next week I'll get out here and go ahead and try to uh, dig up these white potatoes I've been kind of slacking off with the garden here lately because I injured my knee well my knees both my knees uh, so about the last three weeks haven't really been able to do anything uh, concerning being in the garden or working out my legs in the gym so just kind of nursing nursing my knees right now and uh they're getting better day by day and uh we'll be squatting 405 pounds again in no time maybe here within the next couple of weeks and as i already said we'll be in this garden next week uh putting these uh we'll probably dig up the uh white potatoes and pull up the uh, green beans all right. Anyway, y'all, thanks for joining me for this quick little uh, update. And uh, uh, update. So I'll tell you what, since I mentioned update, let me go and show y'all a side view. You really can't see anything because so much grass is growing. Of course, right here in the front, right there, two potato slips. Those are the... Uh, potato vines that's rotten okay mean that it's time to pull those or uh, deep those potatoes out the ground we got a few green beans left here uh they're turning they're starting to turn uh pale in color so yeah that lets me know they're done we got plenty of chard left of course no more <laughs> kale because it's been eaten up over there we have uh if you see right here right right there tip of my finger that's a that's the last no we got that one right there and we got this one here I'm gonna zoom in real fast those are two spaghetti squash right chunda and small one right there still green okay so that's the last of the uh, spaghetti squash uh we haven't even cooked any yet still got the last few in the uh in the refrigerator so you can tell that these vines are dying out okay the squash now it's concerning the uh the yellow crook squash crook neck squash it's completely done. So those vines are gone. Of course, got my super tender slips right there. Okay, which they would be in the ground for about a couple more months. And uh, I put those things out. Hopefully, I got some sweet potatoes. I've been eating more white potatoes than anything here lately. Uh, trying to put the size on. All right, so here is a bushy. Well, grassy, because you can't hardly see it. 
uh, cucumbers. They pretty much died out. I think I just pulled the last one. Maybe a couple more hidden in there, I don't know. Those are, let me zoom back out. So, too far, a little bit too far. Yeah, this here, what I'm pointing at right there, or uh, that's what the cantaloupe grows, grows. And up front here are watermelons. I may be able to get around the side and show you a couple of those. Nah, you can't go over there without getting wet. Anyway, you can see the uh, foliage from the uh, watermelons right here. Anyway, y'all, that's a quick little update. Thank y'all for joining me. Joining me. And as I always say, stay healthy, stay fit, and stay away from GMOs. I got to go. See y'all next time. Be good. All right, y'all, so real quick. This here is a plate of, uh, of course, uh, we have cantaloupe and a peach. I love peaches. And this cantaloupe is delicious. But anyway, I just want to show y'all a close-up of what that good old, good old cantaloupe looked like that we pulled right out the backyard, out of the garden. Okay, this is one of them, y'all. Delicious! I love it. Anyway, grow y'all some cantaloupe. See y'all next time. Stay well.